experiences. Katarina. Madison, Prince Marth. Katarina, if you have reasons, I would like to hear them. I'm sure we can sell this without resorting to fighting. I'm sorry. I, I have no choice but to do this. Why? It makes no sense. Oh yeah, this music. This is the music you face in like the in the final map of the prologue. Oh, I gee. love this theme. Mm -hmm. It says that you only hear it in the final map of the prologue. Actually, no, I think you hear it in the final guy in chapter 2. Oh yeah, and also I should mention this. Once you cross this area, you're going to spawn two preservers from the back. So you have to be careful with that. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah, like even in a guy chapter that this small, there's ambush spots. Like, really, game? Alright, come on, Maris. No, what? Of course. Of this course. Is. Now, luckily, always. um, what? Oh, I said always. The second hit. Oh. Always. Now, luckily, you can actually, like, barricade this area, but because I do think the. The warriors spawn with like um hand axes or just like regular axes. But you still need to be careful. Oh Marth doesn't get doubled by the sword master. Okay. Can I please crit Marth, please? Nope, okay. Dodge? Thank you. Okay. They all have tunnel hides, which sucks because I'm not gonna be able to like counterattack them. Okay, so let's see. 26 14. Okay, she won't actually kill me. Madison, dodge it. No! Oh my god. Again. Again. <laughs> again. Once again. Ryan? Thank you. See, hey. Ryan knows how to do it. Ryan knows what's up. Pure water. Nice. Did these guys drop anything? No, so it's just a water and a pure water. I'm gonna help Master just to be on the safe side. And I'm gonna place bars right here with the mm -hmm. frying pan. Because I don't wanna kill these guys too quickly. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Nice. I can actually kill this guy with Merrick. There we go. So, all this stuff now is the snipers and the swordmaster and Catalina. Oh, wait, what? Where are they? They're supposed to spawn. I am a puppet. I exist only to serve Lady Aramaya. My life has no value. Ugh, that's a lot more than I would have liked. Oh my god, I love that theme so much. Ugh, ow. Now, okay, good dodge. No, don't kill him, Madison. Budget. No. Okay, I might actually be able to beat this on this turn, actually. Hey, nice job. Alright, talk. Katarina. Madison, I had a dream. It was short. But it was a very happy dream. Madison, you and I, both, both of us became royal guards. We saved many people, received many thanks, and then the two of us. Madison, I... I'm sorry. I'm talking nonsense. There's no going back for me. Let us resume our battle, Madison. Madison, there's nothing less for us to say. You and I are enemies. Please fight me. If you don't, I'll kill you. And dance with Fina. Talk. Katarina, please listen to me. Madison, why? Why do you refuse to fight? You must know that you'll die if you don't kill me. And yet, why do you hesitate? Because you're my friend. You can't have forgotten. Our days of training as knights, the times we fought together with Luke, Roddy, Ryan, and Cecil. Well, we're missing Cecil, so... <laughs> together we'd be an unstoppable team. That's what you told me. 
and the fu- why Anderson, am, that's why, a one what? why am I wearing the tiki and the is it <laughs> and the masquerade in the flashback? In the flashback? <laughs> Oh my god. They should have showed the unit that I made in the uh, tutorial, but I guess I can understand because, you know, the DS kind of has limitations because I only have one model, too. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Madison, that's a wonderful name. We're here for the same reason, then. My name is Katarina. I came because I wish to serve Prince Mark. Thank goodness. Madison, you won. I knew you could do it. I'd like to be a royal guard, if you're in with me. Together, we'd be an unstoppable team. When I imagine a future like that, I feel very happy. Um, what about you, Madison? Do you perhaps feel the same as I? That was... That was all a lie. Everything I did was to deceive you. It was all just a ruse. The, th the truth is, I don't care about you. If that's the case... Then why are you crying now? I'm not... Katarina, you don't belong there. You want to fight alongside me for Prince Marth. I'm certain of it. It's too late for that. I've committed too many unforgivable sins. Then you'll just have to start atoning for them. It won't be easy. Many people from both Altea and your organization will turn a cold shoulder to you. But I can promise you this, no matter what happens, I'll stand by your side. Madison. Return to us, Katarina. Madison. 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 It is a pretty good CG, though, I will say. It is. Alright, so let's see how Madison, because I don't have my axe anymore. Alright, so yeah, now we get Katarina. Um, Katarina, in my opinion, is actually one of the best, um, like, she's a really good magic user, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, I think she's really serviceable. Even on Maniac Mode, with these, uh, base stats, she can contribute quite considerably. Like, she's basically, um, Lind if you didn't train Lind. Like, she has, like, good growth rates and skill span and luck. Like, her growth rates are literally almost the same as Lind's, and she comes with B rank mm -hmm. and Tomes and C rank and safe, so she's basically on par with Merrick and Lind at this stage. Well, Lind, Merrick, if you didn't train her. It's a different story, but clearly she has good base stats too, like 15 skill and speed and magic, and 6 luck, so she probably won't be capping her luck by end game, but she'll cap skill and speed for sure. And I think mm -hmm. Katarina's a really good, like, you know, she kind of, she's almost like pent in a way, in my opinion, like, um, you know what, I'm actually gonna rate her 5 stars, because I think she's really good for the end game, like, she can really oh, wow. contribute a lot. Like, a people on stage is so, like, significant, especially mm -hmm. in this game, because she has, she has, plus, she's also a female, so if you lost Lind or didn't use her, you have another aura, she can use her aura right out of mm -hmm. the game, because she has B rank and tome, or B rank and tomes. And she can also use Nosferatu because she's a woman too. So yeah, female sages are pretty good in this game, and Katarina is no exception. So yeah, five stars for me. Oh, I'm surprised. I thought you weren't gonna like her. <laughs> no, I love Katarina. I usually use her. She's good. She's actually the unit I was oh. talking about. The final unit I'm gonna be on. Who's gonna be on the oh. team for end game? Amazing. Good. I'm glad because I actually adore Katarina. Um, I do wish she had a little bit higher magic on starting, but. That's really my only gripe with her, because um, like you said, that she's going to catch up very quickly. Um, I also do wish that her level were a little bit lower, so that it would be easier for her to catch up. But at this point, we're facing so many promoted units that, you know, she shouldn't have too much of a hard time getting XP. Uh, like you said, um, she is a female, so she can use Nosferatu and Aura. And she comes with a B rank in Tomes. So she can wield everything. Yeah. And at this <laughs> Except point, for Excalibur. Of course, Merrick but... and uh, Lind are not. Like, Merrick and Lind recently just hit B rank and Tom, so she's right there, right. actually. She literally comes out of the gate ready to wield literally anything you'll give her, and she'll do good damage because she's a magic user, and Res is not really existing yeah, and, in this game. And the worst case scenario, she's another staff user that you can use. Like exactly, because she she's already rank. got C rank. Yeah, she already and she's already C better than Armalisha. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. She's already I... a Malisha replacement right there. Like, I'm I'm gonna give her a four out of five stars. Okay. But I do really like her. Same. So I do think now that we recruit her, I do think those words are gonna come from the back. So I do. So 
And I don't think I can kill these guys this turn, actually. I mean, maybe if I'm very... Uh, if I don't kill this guy, I would like to give this kill to... Yep, okay, I can give this kill to, um, uh... There you go. To Katarina. Hit points, strength, skill, speed. Nice. Oh, is that cap? No, no, okay, the skill cap is 29, the speed cap is 30. Oh my god, we need a crit for Ryan. That won't kill even if it gets a crit. Wait, what? It'll be 42. Ah, oh, damn, okay, so in that case, I might as well just kill this You have a human calculator on your side, don't worry. <laughs> thank, you, thank you for, trust me, there are so many things to do that you help me out. Like, <laughs> I'm glad. There you go. Just like that, she's already ready. I might recast her to um, Bishop if, if, um, if her Saffron can be better. Maybe, I have to that see. That could be helpful. Oh, there they are. Okay, they're not in range. Will I double this guy? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oh, for Merrick, he's now level 13. Hit points, skill, luck, and res. Nice. Now, the enemy phase music for the Shepherd sounds like it's something like out of like Castlevania or something. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> like, like to the music, I mean. Well, I could. I didn't notice. Oh my god. That 1% crit, can you actually imagine? <laughs> Oh my god, I crit the guy with a fucking fire pan. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hit points. Okay. Honestly, that's that's like all he has left. Yeah, it's hit points. <laughs> Any points of luck and defense are fine, and he has a 5% chance of going this. You know what? No, it's oh. just so close. Alright, I'll just do this. Strength, skill, luck. Nice. Why is she so stacked? <laughs> She's a dancer. Like, it doesn't matter. I know. Like, that's the worst part. Wow, damn. She got a full level from that. Hit points, magic. See, that's what I'm saying. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's her first level up. She makes it. Wow, talk about a good first impression. Malaysia, where were these levels when I needed you? Honestly. Malisha was too busy leveling only defense. <laughs> she has like I think twelve defense at this point. God, that's more defense than she should ever have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see the enemy face music. It sounds like very eerie. Maybe I can set this up for her as well. Okay, between Bars and Ryan, I should be able to get this kill to her. And also, I need to get a hand axe back. I'm just doing this now since I have this chance. Bars, don't crit. Thank you! Doesn't matter. Ah, damn, she does a lot of experience. I might send her to the drill grounds. Prince Marth, I have committed many unforgivable sins. Please hand me punishment worthy of my crimes. Please execute me. Raise your head, Kyra. I have no intention of taking your life. But why? I don't deserve to live. Please let me atone with my death. That's not a tummy, you're just running from your sins. Oh. But if you if you truly regret what you've done, then live. I want you to atone with your life, now you're done. Death. Atone with my life? But how? What should I do? How can I even begin to atone? I cannot give you that answer. Until now, you've only followed orders, never thinking for yourself. But that's going to change that. You will think for yourself and find your answer. 
That is my punishment to you. Prince Marth. Alright, so yeah, we get Katarina. Oh, 15 minutes that took. <laughs> Chapter 17, Gra Setting Sun, Gra Bastion. And then, then we get to see one of my favorite female character designs. Yeah. Shima looks so good in this like armor. Like right there. That is Oh really my god, I armor. love her so much. Alright. Marth once again departed from Altea, heading towards the capital of Arcanea. However, the kingdom of Gra, allied Arcanea, stood in their path. Gra allied with Dolor in the previous war. King Jeel fell in battle, and the kingdom was lost. Gra was annexed to Altea at one point, but by Emperor Hardin's order, it was returned to Arcanea. Hardin found King Jeel's daughter, Princess Shima, and allowed her to take the throne, providing support to Gra. Shima received fanatical support from her people. To them, Shima was their only hope. The youths volunteered to become soldiers one after the other, and then happily moved out to exact revenge on Altea, their bitter enemy. However, their dreams were shattered. Before the fast approaching Altean elites, the Gra soldiers lost the will to fight and started fleeing for their lives. Gra's army is renowned for its mighty Armonites and generals. The late King Jill, our enemy in the Lost World, was a general himself. I see an army with strong defenses. In the past, yes, I hear that Gra's army now consists of new recruits, hardly worthy enemies. Speaking of strong defenses, Madison, your defense is quite impressive. No man in Gra can match your defense. This battle has already been decided. Yeah, you say that, yet I literally died to, like, killer bows from warriors in the last right. chapter. So, yeah, uh, this chapter is um, pretty, um, it's pretty alright. Like, I actually, it's another, like, reused map, but it, I do mm -hmm. like this map, though. Like, there's a lot of, like, uh, different pathways. Yeah, here's another Nosferatu tome, so just in case you didn't <laughs> get, so yeah, you get three Nosferatu tomes. Um, yeah, so there are enemies in here. Um, the gimmick of this map is that you don't want to kill the unpromoted units, like the soldiers, or basically just units from Gra. You can kill the Arcanans, but not the Gra soldiers. Um, because if you do, you won't be able to get Shima or, um, Ash, or, um, not Ash, um, um, uh, Samson, Samson. You won't be able to get them at the end of this chapter. And you, they're alright, um, when you get them. Mm -hmm. Um, and you do need to, like, get, like, do I have door key? Oh, wait, I don't think I have a door key. I think we have one. I think we have one. I think you can buy them from the shop. I can't check the shops right now for some reason. Um, let me see. I think a guy drops one. Please tell me if someone drops a door key. Okay, yeah, this guy drops a door key. I think we have another one. Let me just double check. Nope, I can't double check. Um... I could have sworn we literally got one last chapter. Yeah, I thought I did. Like, did I not? What the hell? I'm pretty sure I got a door key last chapter. Where the hell is it? I'm confident that we did. I know someone <laughs> dropped a door key. Did I not? I'm trying to remember. Like, what did I use it on? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I know a guy. Yeah, I can... yeah, I'm drawing a blank. I honestly don't know what happened to my door key. Like, is it not here? Like, is it on the list somewhere? Yeah, I honestly don't know what the hell happened. Where okay. did it go? <laughs> I know I bought one. Like, I'm not going. I know I got one. I'm not going crazy here. Wait, can you sell the device? No, you can't. Uh. No, I don't think you can. Okay. I think I saw it on the list, I just didn't... I don't think, I don't think it's, it's in the convoy. I think it was like above the staves. It was weird. Wait, let, was me weird. let me try putting in TV's inventory. Or just summons. Can you sell it? And if you can, does it sell for a good amount? CS... Oh yeah! Oh yeah, I'll sell that. There you go. So let's uh, send uh, Carrie into the drill lines. Because I do want to give her like another one. Uh... I mean. Yeah, I'll win this actually.
Honestly, I feel like the drill guns is better than the arena in this game. Because at least with the drill guns, you know what you're facing. Plus, you can equip mm -hmm. your weapons. It sucks that it costs money, but still, it's better than the arena that's, like, torturous in this game. Alright, Kanari is now level 9. Hit points, speed, luck, res. Nice. Yeah, I'll win this, as long as he doesn't crit me. Uh, no. Ooh, uh-uh. Alright, and then I think I'll send Ryan in, um... Yeah, I guess the sorcerer, he'll be fine. We're gonna get more money in this chapter, I know that for a fact. So that's not why I'm not really that broken up about using the, uh, arena. Oh my god, what? Let's see, uh, Lind, uh, okay, no, Gordon... Okay. God, I cannot believe I take this little damage from a wonder. Uh, no. Uh-uh. Okay, nice. Hit points, strength, defense. Oh my god. Oh Seven my god. Seen defense. Nope, not general. Thank you, Ryan. Hit points, strength, skill, speed. Nice. What the? No. Then Marth, uh... Alright. Of course, second hit. Alright, and I think that's good enough for now. Alright, let's talk. Grad troops. Sorry, I have a report. Our army is a mixed army of soldiers from Arcana and Gra. But it seems Gra soldiers have no will to fight, and they're simply being coerced by Arcana's men. And if we defeat the Arcanian soldiers, we might not need to battle those from Gra. I want to avoid pulling the sacrifice as much as possible. Pass and convey that to him. Understood, Sire. Current status. We have reclaimed our homeland Altair and we're now going to have a device battle against Arcanian, our enemy. We will head to the palace, the hub of Arcanian, to defeat Garnav, who kidnapped Princess Elise, and to liberate Emperor Harden from the Dark Seer's control. According to Lord Gado, Garnav is gathering high class clerics, Princess Elise among them. His objectives are unknown, but we must free them quickly. However, to reach the palace, we have to pass through the Kingdom of Gra, now Arcanaeus Paul. Alright. I think we're- Oh wait, right. Um... Oh man, I'm not bringing him into this chapter. Um, I guess we can have Paulus to this chapter out? Because mm -hmm. there are some archers on this chapter, and what I can do is I can give the Iota shield over to, um, uh... Um, uh... Sita, actually. Oh wait, she already has it. Okay. No, she doesn't. Oh wait, oh wait, no, I'm looking at, oh, I'm looking at the list of them. Uh, okay, so I can deposit this hand axe, and I don't need the Fusro Da for now, because they're not, the Fusro Da isn't effective against white in this game, which I'm still trying mm -hmm. to figure out. Uh, ooh, actually, no, we're facing, um, uh, we're facing, um, 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 Draco Knight, so the Flycatcher will actually be, be put to good use here. And I think that's actually everything I want to do. And what I'll do, and now I can put in Lind. And yeah, there we go. Alright, I think I have everything at once. Uh, let's see, am I? Oh wait, do I have the Geosphere? Okay, yeah, I do. I've just been doing a double check because I don't want to like start mm -hmm. this chapter and then like, oh wait, what? Did I forget something? Uh, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the silver card on Fina since I have it. Because mm -hmm. there is a shop here and I do want to do some shopping here. Oh, yeah, and the Star Sphere, too. Yeah, I was gonna say the Star Sphere. Uh, I guess I can give that to, um. I guess I can give it to Maris, actually. Mm hmm. I mean, I don't think. I can't think of any better cannons. I know Mass is the one, but he's already so good to see, really needed. 
Alright, and I'm going to place, uh, let's see, I'm going to place Gordon right here. Because what is going to happen is that these Dragon Knights are going to move on the first turn, and I want, like, Gordon Ryan to intercept it as soon as possible. And, alright, I think we are good. Um... Oh yeah, I don't, I'm not going to put the against out of the way, actually, because I, I, I want to conserve that as much as possible. And I'll grab, actually, a rescue staff. Oh wait, I have an unlock staff! I don't need a door key, what am I talking about? Because yeah. I can just use the unlock staff. Like, this is like the only time when I think the unlock staff will be good. Alright, so let us save, and yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for now. Join us next time. I would do this now, but the thing is, I'm about to go and make some hamburgers, so I don't wanna, like, yeah. go over the time limit. Let me just do one last Yeah, sure. Let me just do one last time. Pause it. So I think the seven is good enough. No, not the guide. Okay, now I have to go to the eight. If you guys don't know, I'm changing the, the calendar just so that way I can manipulate the house every morning. Because I can't manipulate the inner settings itself. Crystal can see it, but you guys can't. Alright, Etzel got experience, Roddy got strength and skill, Zane got experience, and Paula got a toy bow. A toy bow? bow. <laughs> oh no, not the toy bow. <laughs> Yeah, it's got one mite, and it, it's not even a, like, you could have gotten at least a glass bow. Like, seriously, it's got right. one mite. Wait, wait, I gotta see, can you force this? And if so, how much? I have to check. <laughs> it, better, it's, it can't be as expensive as the Master's Ring. I know that for a fact. Is it Toy Bow? Where are you? What, what did I pass it? Okay. I think it's after the axe. Or the uh, tongue. Maybe. Yeah, okay, here it is. Toy Bow. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Don't actually, say actually, actually God. no! Look at this. Oh, wait, you can only up the mic to ten. <laughs> actually, that's not. Bad. Are you actually about to do this? <laughs> we have killer bows. I know, but that mic is actually pretty impressive. I mean, oh my God. Okay, wait. Okay, we go up to eleven. What's the mic of the of the bows we have? Ah, it's not as good as a silver. Nah, nah. If we have money left over that, I should I will definitely support you for now. We should have done that with the laundry pole, bro. The laundry supports <laughs> the laundry pole? <laughs> the laundry pole. Wait, 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 we have the frying pan. <laughs> oh my god. We have the hit axe. Wait, wait, how much is the hit axe for? I gotta do one now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I actually use it for good weapons, not joke weapons. <laughs> Can you for- oh my god, you actually upped the- <laughs> What the- 150? 170? 170! No, we don't need- to. okay, so... Ah, we can up the might a bit. How's that? That's pretty good, not okay. gonna lie. Yeah. For an axe? Yeah, 10 mites, 10 for 120. Alright. And what should I call this one? Do you have any names in mind? I mean, I don't mind. I have no idea. Let's see. An axe? Oh, I got it. I'm serious. Oh my god. It's not hammer either. I know this is gonna fuck me up somehow. Oh my god, that's hilarious, no! And I, and I still have another axe. I should wait, let's give Mass in the TV show game. There we go. The MC Hammer is here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, thank you for watching, we will see you in the next part.